Howdy, howdy everybody out there in YouTube land. So we have moved up in the world. As you can see, we're testing out a new product as well as opening up a, well, I'm guessing it's Kickstarter stuff, but don't quote me on that yet. I'm not sure. So here's what I have. I'll show you here. It's just this little, and I haven't, I just got out of the box. So this cost me $3 as a Vivitar, you know, just Vivitar, um, you know what I'm talking about webcam. That's what it is. So it was our webcam, digital. So basically, it comes with two cords, which is a microphone as well as. So there's actually double audio on this. I'm not sure how that's going to work out yet. Uh, you turn the little front piece here, and that's what's going to focus the camera. And then it comes with a little clip. As you can see, I am setting it inside of this tower just for the purpose of this video, just so it has um, easy easy access to get to it. So it will be on my, probably, uh, the desktop has a camera, but as you can see, it's kind of fuzzy. It's not as clear. So I might be switching to this one full time and just not using the webcam one. Uh, obviously I do have another camera, which is the Vivitar Pro, which would be my camcorder, which would be normally this angle here that you see on the front. So <clears throat> I like when the camera is up close to the laptop because there's an eye, right? So when I look at the eye, like right now I'm staring at the eye, you can see I'm staring right at the camera. That's forward linear. But if I'm over here, turn to do this, then you can clearly see everything should kind of be lined up uh, to wherever your cameras are at. I mean, you can, and whatever is comfortable for you, that's what you can do. So let's go ahead and get it open. This is from Gambler's Warehouse. I do have a couple of Kickstarters I'm waiting for. So I'm curious to see which one this is. Let's see. Ooh, I missed something here. Oh, it opens that way. Okay. Ooh, buddy. Yes. Dun dun dun. dun. It looks like we've got a museum in a box. Yes, this was from Andre, I believe. Captain. Artis Artisan's playing cards, I believe. Artist playing cards. Let's see here. It's, it's been a little bit. Premium quality. Very nice. Beautiful. So I got two of those there. We're going to open them. I'm going to open over here. Uh, there's probably a tab on the side here. I don't need the tool anymore. i got to find where this is at. So this is pretty fine-tuned, and I think it turned a little bit. There we go. There he is. So that's my face right there. How are you doing? Long hair and everything. This comes off. We like to leave the this on the cellophane on the bottoms now just because it seems to help uh, it does look like like the stamp got folded over a little bit when it got put on uh, if you can see that let's see if that's you can see that little lip there that's good that's okay let's see if we can take it off without ruining it's usually pretty difficult to do that but it's got the same design on that. This camera's just, uh, yeah, it's the same design that's on the box here, the spiral. That's a pretty thick stamp, not stamp, just cut it right off. Uh, there you go. Okay, so we got premium playing guards on the top. We've got this architectural design all the way around. Beautiful. Let's get it opened up. Look at that. Right on the inside of the tuck case. Continues that, that overall theme. I love it. Same thing with the tabs. Let's go ahead and get this out of here. There's also a little bit of it on the inside as well. Might not be able to see that without lighting. Go for a feel. Fan. It's pretty good. Okay. So the Jokers are these bad Johnnies right here. So they just say J's on them. 
on the sides and then they say Joker in the, the circles. You can see that there. Look at that ace. Now this project also came with, and I'll have to check my email because I think I have them. Want to get them, print them off. So basically you could also get all of the court cards and everything in picture form. So looks like all of the pips are different. So we'll go through them here with well, this one here because this one's just a little bit better. I'll have to go slow though because the frame rate. So if I remember correctly, yeah. So basically the court cards all are in different uh, artistic not genres per se, but time periods like Renaissance, imp Impressionism, uh, Realism, things like that. So you have all of the court cards are, there's Surrealism as well. So, and then there's, I can't remember exactly what they're called. No, they, well, okay, they're, they're on the cards. Let me see if I can do, start over again. So this is Renaissance. And then... we get to diamonds which is expressionism and again that changes throughout the pips the different styles and there's impressionism And then you get to the clubs, and that's going to be Impressionism. So the first one, the other one was Expression. This one's Impression, which is probably my personal favorite. This reminds me the most of Van Gogh and similar. Like, I'm a big fan of, uh, obviously, I don't have any... I don't have a deep dive into the artistic world, but I do like... Um, Picasso and Monet, you know, basically the greats and stuff. I do enjoy some of their pieces because I love the color. Look at that. And this one is the, uh, not looking at the last two cards, this is the surrealism. This one definitely takes, you know, you could have to take a second just to interpret everything that's going on here. And you could probably definitely see where a lot of the famous artists or the paintings that you're familiar with, you'd be able to see where some of that stuff came from, where the inspiration was, and kind of see how those art forms, you know, where they came from. Because some of those, the reason why we know those people is because they are considered the top, the OGs, if you will the top dogs of that particular genre. Some of them even created them. So we got two cards left here. We have, of course, a blank face card and we have a blank face card. But no, just kidding. <laughs> you probably saw that. Uh, so let's see here. Special thanks. Uh, I'll read this right on here. These are all the people that allowed this to happen, which I absolutely love. So I'll read it, and then obviously the people, the person who created it as well. So thank you. Uh, and I do apologize if I mess up your names. That's part of the fun here for me. That way, you know, people can can uh, correct me. There you go. Alexi, Libby, Beatrice, Kiprian, Enit. Hanshi, James, J. Williams, Battery. Rare Playing Cards, Michael, and to all the backers that made this project possible. Well, that would be I would be one of them. So you are most welcome, and thank you for this fantastic project, Andre Captain. Thank you so much. Absolutely beautiful. It's it's so nice to finally have these in my hand. Well, I'm a little out of practice, I'm a little rusty, but the truth is I just love talking to you guys. I just love talking to you and you and you. Oh, there's somebody over there. <laughs> just kidding. CaptainCards.com. And it comes with a blank face card because, 
because this is all about artistic expression, you can express yourself in whatever way you feel necessary. And again, I'm a little rusty, so <laughs> don't take any of this to heart. Beautiful deck of cards, Andre. Thank you so much. I love working on these projects. Uh, when I say working, I feel like I'm, I'm. I feel like with the journey that these individuals go through, we share in that journey, and I love that. It's not. I mean, bicycle, especially now, has been doing a lot of collab work. Theory Eleven is doing a lot of collab work, but Kickstarter is, in and of itself, the essence of what it means to be a creator and to have your 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 sphere your congregation your followers your people in the thick of it with you and you can see that process unfold simply beautiful and these cards they do it they do it for me so thank you so much thank you everybody there and remember always remember Stay positive, stay active, and stay awesome. And we'll see you in the next one.